Big smile. Three, two. Hi Precious. Hi Lady. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. We've only seen you on Instagram mm -hmm. and you asked one day we must shoot together and now we're here. How does and it I feel? This <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I appreciate that. Yeah. How have you been? I've been good. Yeah. I've been good. 2022 has been good so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm at peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the people what you do in life? Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Precious K. I am a content creator on YouTube and Instagram. I run a non-profit organization called the Precious K Foundation. We basically just assist children with their everyday needs. Um, and I also work a nine to five. I work for a really cool skincare company in Sandton. Okay, so Precious, growing up dark skin, how was it? Honestly, I think it was all right. Um, for the most part, it was okay. I think just growing up, going into like primary school and a little bit of high school, that's where I kind of realized that there was like an issue with being dark skin. Why would you call it an issue? Um, just because of the way I was treated, I feel um, you could feel that you're, you don't get the same attention as a light skin girl. And I was part of a clique. Shout out to my clique, my <laughs> high school clique. So we had like um, I think we were three dark skin girls and then there were like two light skin girls and again usually the boys would come over and then they would literally exclusively greet the light skin girls and just like sort of brush us off. It didn't really bother me because not a lot of things bother me <laughs> but um, I would, it would be ignorant for me to say that it was not evident that there was an issue. Yeah. Can you take us maybe back to a, a situation that really affected you because you said things don't really affect you so can you take us to a situation that affected you and how did you deal with it sure um honestly i don't harbor around that sort of negativity so i personally can't say the last time i felt like my complexion was such an issue that it got to me so honestly i, I can't answer that question because there was no particular time in my life where i felt like oh because i'm dark skin it's made me feel this kind of way so from your understanding of the situation at hand being dark skin and stuff what role uh do you say that women have played in prolonging this situation okay that's a great question i think that women particularly do contribute to the issue of like colorism and being dark skin because um it's society mainly you know going and bleaching your skin i mean i don't think that any woman First of all, it's bad for your skin, okay, <laughs> amongst other things, but it's, women tend, not always, there are a lot of women that put other women down for being dark skinned, I've, I've seen those kind of situations, so yes, we do, they do contribute to it, um, they do, yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> so you said you were raised really well by your mom, what else would you do for your daughter that your mom did for you? Um, so I just have to say that my mom did a very good job at um, affirming me and making sure that I was, that I knew that I was beautiful. She called me, she used to call me Bois Noir, um, and I still call myself that so today. Now what does it mean for people who don't it's understand? And can you say it slowly? It's Bois Noir, and um, direct translation is just black wood, but it's like a nice way of, of, of just... <laughs> It's a nice way of complimenting someone with a darker complexion. Mm -hmm. um, so I really held on to that. Um, so I'm really grateful for my mother, the time that I did spend with her. And would you say that um, the acceptance, if I can say, or the attention to dark-skinned women is a trend or it's genuine? The new attention, the newfound attention? Um, you know what? I think that it, to some degree it is genuine, but I also think that it's... A lot of people are using it to their advantage um, to just be popular. You know, like it's very easy to go viral these days. So you do something and it goes viral. So I do think that there are a lot of people that are coming to 
understand educating themselves on dark skin. Um, so I would say it is genuine. A lot of it is genuine. A lot of it is just like for clout. So you believe in the importance of representation? 100% I do. I do. And I think I've always been this way. Like even growing up, like watching shows, I would always like want to see the shows with the dark skin girl like if the if the main character had a like black bestie that would be my show so i think that representation is definitely very important um it just aids like your mind you know because it's not something that you need to say um even with just seeing that light-skinned people are favored it's not that something it's not something that someone said you could just see it so um having that sort of representation is very important so you think Pretty privilege exists and you think it's mostly towards the lighter skinned woman? I do think that pretty privilege exists. Um, I don't think that I would say it's particularly towards light skinned women because I think that dark skinned women are also pretty. So, I mean, I have experienced pretty privilege, but that's just like with everyday sort of things like, can I park here? And mm. you know, you just, it, it's the <laughs> truth, you know, like you don't have to do much to get certain privileges. Um, no, I don't think it only favors light-skinned people. I think that it can favor dark skin and light skin. Earlier on, you mentioned the time that I spent with her. Do you want to open up a bit, a bit about what you meant uh, with regards to your mom? Sure. Um, so my mom passed away in 2011. Um, so basically, the, t the reason why I use the time I spent with her is because in the years, she passed away when I was very young. I was only 14, about 14, 15. Um, and so the foundation that she laid for me, um, particularly with regards to my self-confidence, how I felt about myself was very strong. So yeah, I'm very grateful that I had my mother during those like very important years of my life to instill that kind of confidence in me that I, that she knew I would need later. And is that why you would say your self-love journey is going well? I think my self-love journey is going well. I don't think I had any insecurities with regards to my complexion, my insecurities lay elsewhere, <laughs> but um, never, never my complexion. Yeah, it's going really well. If your mom was here right now, would she be proud of you? I think she'd be very proud and of you. And what would you tell her in one word or one sentence? It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, I just need the tears to go down. Oh god, okay. Okay, so you asked me what I would tell my mom about it. Mm. I, I think I would just thank her. Um, I would say thank you, Mama, for loving me and showing me love in such a short period of time for showing me the importance of living life fully the importance of loving others the importance of showing up for others and just being a strong woman a strong woman of faith especially because my mom was she was short so i think i just thank her you know um, a lot of the time when people lose an important person in their life, they always think about like, oh, like I wish he was here for this and for that. But I think that my mom did a very good job during the time that I did have her for me to continue and just live a wholesome life. Mm. Thank you. Yeah.